Professor Pitiko? Uh, you know, first, I would like to, there are so many legends here, but I'd like to honor just two legends. Bradon Matera was banished for 17 years. He could not publish his poetry, he could not even write his column. When he came back from that, uh, says, in one of his poems, he says, where was I that I might emerge from the burning furnace of my spirit to call on an aggrieved people to what a repeated insurrection against these nocturnal beasts who guard our dreams and command ourselves to our poems to kneel before their guns. Mm. Bradon. Uh, this one is just is short, freshly carved this morning when I had a conversation with Dorothy. You sing like you have swallowed the beds of harmonies and melodies. The wind carries your voice to the womb of our ears, to our legs, and we dance. The dance of our beginnings. We, the children of the sun, children of Africa, of our ancestral rivers and mountains, when you move, our minds shift to higher thoughts, our emotions slow to cover the world of our dreams, you were born. Thanks, God, for that. <laughs> uh, I'd like to turn to Romeo. You are in uh, Alexander, you are my neighbor, I'm on Louis Botha. We have some of the best paintings that we have from uh, people who come in from there, that we pay in from our own uh, you know, you know, you know, pockets. What I realized in South Africa is that art and culture is only music. Yeah. We don't hear anybody talk about painting or talking yeah. about yeah. sculpture, yeah. <laughs> right? 200 years ago, a great man set out to build a powerful nation in 1816. Now, a couple of months ago, I had a double operation for cancer. I'm not going to leave long. But what I'm going to be leaving behind is that we have trained a group. We are working on 21 more than life-size sculptures Biko, Sobukwe, Bangu Stands, practically everything from guys who are gardeners, who are security, uh, you know, people. Last month alone, looking at the website, we had about five professors from American University to see this unfolding revolutionary, you know, history. Okay. And yet, we don't. But we are lucky that, uh, uh, the ministers that came before the minister, they really made history because they did nothing. Okay. <laughs> Professor Ntuli, that's where we're going to leave it. I'm afraid due to time constraints, we're going to have to leave it right there.